What is up? This is SMO27, and I'm going to show you how you can check the condition of the PS Vita when you get it used. Uh, when you get a PS Vita used on Amazon or eBay or any other online or any other online shopping service, then it's important to check the condition of the PS Vita. So basically, what you'll want to do is that first of all to see if the screen is scratched or not. Now you'll see that there is some there's some like fingerprints there because I've been using it for a long time. But I haven't like noticed any fingerprints when it was turned on, so it's in good condition. And another thing to make sure that on the top portion that there are no scratches, you can see that there are no scratches on the P on the top of the PS Vita nor on the bottom of the PS Vita. And another thing to make sure that there are no dirt particles in the inside of the PS, in the internal PS Vita. Because I, I just removed the SD card. Okay, to make sure that there are no particles of dirt inside this SD card slot. Okay, so basically, what else you'll want to do is to check the back to make sure that there are no scratches on the touchpad or the camera. And then if you're happy about that, the other thing to make sure to check is that there are no gold pins sticking out of the charging slot, nor are there any dirt particles in it, or on the headphone jack. And the next thing you will do is that you're going to plug it in to make sure that it charges. Because if it does not charge, then there's a possibility that the charger could be faulty, or the battery itself, or it could be the port. Now you'll see that there's an orange light. So if you want to, you can then turn it on to make sure that it lasts without the charge. You cannot turn it on when the light is blinking orange as the battery is too low. Okay, so now it's turned on. Now just remember that I'm going to unplug this right now. Now it's important to know that if the battery on the PS Vita is faulty, then that means that the PS Vita is going to be able to function with the, with the charger plugged in. But as soon as you remove the charger from the PS Vita, it's going to shut down immediately. <clears throat> now you can see over here that my PS Vita is at 54%. But no matter what battery level it's at, it should stay, it should hold its charge for a bit. Now another thing to check, uh, basically the way to check the functions and features is through Welcome Park. Now you can see that the sound is coming out. Now if, there's, now if you don't hear the music there, if you don't hear the music there when the PS Vita, you get it used, then you can try tapping on one of them. If the sound does not work properly, then that means that the PS Vita is faulty. Take it back to GameStop and have them GameStop and have them service it. Because like Welcome Park is basically like you're diagnosing if the touch if the touch screen is working properly. Now we're gonna go into double tap, because obviously you can see that the screen is working well. Ready, go! Okay. One, two, three. So basically tap these numbers in order. And you can see the double touch is working. Okay. And it's gonna get to a stage where we have to use two fingers that you'll see in a moment. And you can see that it is working. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. You did it! And then in order to make sure... Flicking these things is like flicking, like the number, is like flicking 
in order for the app to close in order to unlock the PSV then. So it looks like flipping these numbers in order 5, 6, 7, and then you keep going until the end, and 10. Okay, the next stage has to do with the touchpad, but I can do the touchpad at the main menu. So you can see here that if I move up, up, down, left, and right. So up and down, left and right, and you can see that the, that the globe is spinning, so this means that the touchpad is working well. And another way is that, it's a, is that for games that require the mic to check if the microphone is working properly. So you'll need the microphone for this. So I'm going to test my voice. Testing, one, two, three. One, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Now I can see my voice as it says, testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Testing. So you know that the microphone is working properly. Okay. So, another thing is to make sure to check if the camera is working properly too. Okay, so the camera, you can see that the back facing camera is working based on this app over there. Okay. So then this other camera over there is basically a snap and slide. So what you're gonna see is that you can see my face a little bit. Which means that the front facing camera is working Take a properly. Picture by pressing the camera icon. Okay. How many pieces would you like? We're just gonna do it this many pieces. And this is to basically make sure that the slide Ready? feature is working Go. properly. Now I can see that the slide feature is working properly. I'm not really gonna do the matching because that's filler. How many pieces would you like? Okay, so... And I'm gonna check to make sure that the tilt controls are working. Because, like... Okay, so... Skate access in order to check if the tilt is working properly. Ready? Go! Okay, so you can see this guy over here as he moves, he moves left when I tilt left, and he moves right when I tilt right. This means that's working, and he also jumps as soon as I hit that. Yeah, and there are basically... And, and the one way to check if, if the D-pad is working is I could try playing a game. Like, I just gotta launch Street Fighter Cross Tekken. I'm just going to use Street Fighter X Tekken for this. Okay. Okay, just going to use a little stand for...
Okay, so it's kind of loose. Okay. But anyway, in order to check to make sure that it is working properly, okay. So what we are going to do is in order to check if the D-pad is working properly is that we're going to do a round of some Street Fighter X Tekken playing as Pac-Man and Nina well, the entire planet became and suppose I'll open the quick menu box, as soon as, as you press and hold the in home button the world, now if you see the home button and well, quick menu now if you see the quick menu then you know that it is working perfectly. No one knows where they came from or how they came into being. Yet one thing was certain: they were headed for the box. Now you can see basically the flight mode, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth feature. Okay, so it's gonna be Pac-Man versus Chun Li. <clears throat> okay, so, so you can basically see that on Pac Man. Okay, every time you press the R button, you can see that Pac Man is punching. And then when I press the R button, Pac Man is going to do a round kick. And then Pac Man will do this punch. And I press the triangle button. And then when he press the O button, he does a side kick, and then I did a knee kick, and get a switch to Nina. You can see that when I press the X button, you can see that Nina is kicking, and then Nina does that little punch over there when I press the square button. So now you know that the D-pad is working when you play a game. And there's also another way to check if the D-pad is working. You don't really have to have a game for that. It's like basically like controlling with buttons with the system. I was gonna close all applications, so make sure you save your progress. Otherwise, you'll lose unsaved data. So to check to make sure that's working, you just scroll up and then down. You can see that this little blue highlight right there is like moving when I press down and then up. That's a sign that it is working properly. And to also check that your system is also up to date, you make sure that it is. The latest version is version 3.68, and this Japanese symbol translates to translates to tr transformation because I have H dash Encore installed in 3.68, which is like an alternate to Hankaku. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this. I don't know. I'm not going to end it yet. Before I end this, this is also important. So in conclusion, don't buy the PS Vita if you see any defects. Like one of them is that... One of them... Because like one of them is that if the battery depletes really fast, or if it doesn't charge properly, 
or maybe it does charge, but as soon as you unplug it, it's gonna lose its charge, meaning that it's gonna shut down immediately after you unplug it. But that means that the battery is faulty or it's old. Or maybe another thing is that the system may also be, also be faulty as well if you try to turn it on and cannot turn it on even after charging it for a few, even after charging it for a long amount of time or even if you plug it in and the light is not blinking orange. So thank you so much for watching this and keep liking, commenting, and subscribing.